wants to plough a field and he has an ox and he has a donkey and he wants to put them together to plough the field but he can't because the Torah has a prohibition that you can't plough with two different animals. So if you want to plough with two donkeys or two oxes, that's absolutely fine. Just not an ox and a donkey together. But why? So in truth, this is called a chok. And with chokim, we don't know the reason, but our rabbis explain to us many messages that we can learn from this. Message number one, one animal might be stronger than the other, and when pulling it along, it might cause the other distress. So by the way, when you see someone elderly walking slowly, it's a nice idea to walk slowly with them and being sensitive to their situation. And in the same way, when speaking to a child or someone in a wheelchair, it's very sensitive instead of looking down on them to make eye contact and go down to their level. The second reason given is an ox chews the cud, whereas a donkey doesn't. So when an animal chews the cud, it swallows the food, the food comes up, it regurgitates it, and then it starts chewing again, and the same thing keeps happening. So it looks like it's eating all the time. So let's imagine what the donkey would feel if it's being ploughed together with an ox, and it's watching the ox chewing, chewing, and chewing. Now why didn't I get fed? How did I miss that? And the donkey thinks, okay, I'm gonna look out for it next time. But again, the, the ox is chewing and chewing and chewing and the donkey's saying, hey, how did that happen? Just like the donkey might feel hard done by, so when you're fortunate to have something, don't rub it in people's faces. Be sensitive to their feelings. A gift, we distribute hundreds of packages to people that are struggling. But our policy is for the volunteer to knock put the package down and leave because we don't want the recipient to see the driver in their beautiful outfits and their beautiful big car delivering to me who I can't afford it and I'm struggling at the moment and we don't want to, we want to spare them any embarrassment at all. A giver is someone who is sensitive to the feelings of others. Be great, be a giver and be sensitive to other people's feelings. Shabbat Shalom.